Hi, I'm Russell Marsh from Sylvan Australia. I'm the account manager for South Australia and Western Victoria in, in uh, spraying machinery. As the temperatures increase into December, we've, we've got a massive canopy growth and some of the growers will be tipping. They might have tipped the vines um, or, or hedged the vines once or twice this season already. Some are putting their foliage wires up, pushing the canopy up into a more vertical position, more compact. Um, and, the, and the foliage is dense. Some different varieties within the same vineyard, some might already be uh, hedged, some might have the foliage wires pushed up and others won't. So setting the sprayer up in the same configuration to do the whole vineyard is not ideal. It's the most expensive spray you've just wasted if you're putting out the wrong amount of chemical for the size of the canopy and it doesn't do the job. Um, not only can it not protect your vines or do an in inadequate job, but the chemical itself can be compromised. I think most growers these days are actually starting to calculate their canopy size as the season goes on, um, but I think more emphasis needs to be put on calculating it on every single spray, knowing exactly what your canopy size is, how much it has changed from the last spray, and also changing the configuration of your spray to suit the changes in that canopy. Basically, uh, we have a, a vast range of chemicals available to us. Uh, they all have a different mode of action. They have a different ability to get into the plant. Some are contact, some are translaminar, some are systemic. Um, that mode of action determines how much water is required for the chemical to work properly in the vine. So if you were to use a, a uh, systemic chemical with uh, not enough water or a very fine droplet in very hot conditions, you won't have enough wet time on the leaf for the chemical to actually work properly. So it's critical to know the chemistry of, of the chemical you're using and what it requires and therefore that'll determine your water rate as well as the temperature that you're spraying in. As we get through December and into January, a lot of the varieties are, um, are at what they call bunch closure, uh, pre varaison so they're not quite ripening yet but the bunches are getting tight. Um, we want to make sure that we've protected our bunches on the inside before they close. So we're actually looking to making sure we've got the right chemistry in there at the right time and the right zone of the vine too. So if it was a botrytocide that we wanted to put inside the bunch before they closed, we'd probably need to get that on with the sprayer set up to target just that zone. Then as we move further on into Verazon, some of the diseases become less of a concern. The berries become more resistant to some of those diseases. So we might change our chemistry and we'll change our spray application. We might go for more of a general protective practice at that point and less targeted, so uh, unless we respond to an actual disease or an event that's happened. We're in the middle of summer, we're heading uh, in December into January. Um, we're getting close to harvest and a bunch closure starts to see a lot of chemicals that are available to us become unavailable due to withholding periods and it's, it's very important to know what your winery's um, restrictions are and AWRI recommendations and regulations are on withholding periods for the chemicals at that growth period. Planning what chemical you do want to use and knowing when it's withholding period cuts in is very important.